Example, find an equation of the tangent line to the parabola y equals x squared at the point p11. All right, so we're given our point p11. We also need to find another point, and we're going to call that point point q. So it's going to be our arbitrary point. So arbitrary means doesn't really matter where it's at. So let's put it right here. So then we'll call it point Q. Right? And so we're we're given our point P with the uh, with an X value of one and a Y value of one. We need to find what values these are x and y. So what we know about this problem, we know that y equals x squared. So since we know y equals x squared, we know what the y is. So it's going to be x x squared. So that's our arbitrary point and it's its position on the parabola so q is x x squared and p is 1 1 let's find the slope of the secant line we choose x is not equal to 1 so that q is not equal to p then m p q which means the slope of p and q equals x squared minus 1 divided by x minus 1 so I, what this sign means it means it's not equal to and we're trying to find the rise over the run and so earlier we're given our points p and q p was 1 1 and q was x and x squared and so we're given these two points and we're going to do the rise over the run and so what would that look like? It would be x squared minus 1, x minus 1. Because this is x and this is y, right? So pretty basic. Now we need a number close to x1, yet is not equal to x1. How would we do that? So in order for us to do that, we need to plug in numbers in order to get a approximation approximation of what the slope of the tangent line at the point p11 is and so our equation was x squared minus 1 over x over 1 minus 1 and so we need to plug in points close to 1 but not 1 because what happens when we put 1 in here? It's 1 squared minus 1 1 minus 1 which is 0 so we already know this is undefined but let's say up here 1 minus 1 undefined so we know what this equals to if it's 1 and we don't want that so we need to put it in, in numbers close to 1 and so I will I'm going to write out some numbers. So here we have 2. And 2 equals 3 of our slope. So we put 2 in here, which would be 4 minus 1, which is 3. 2 minus 1, which is 1. That's 3 over 1, which gives us 3. If you guys want to work it out, you guys could work it out. I'm just going to put these points out right here pretty simple so simple math so I mean if you're taking calculus you should kind of already know this how to do that that kind of math over there so it, as we can see right here it's getting close to 2 now let's see over here if it's 0 what happens if we put 0 in here well 0 times 0 is 0 minus 1 
0 minus 1, that's 1. So we know that's 1. And when it's getting closer to the number 1, which we can't have a number 1, remember? We said x cannot equal number 1. It's going to be 1.9. 0.99 it's going to be 1.99 and just to be sure we're going to do it one more time we need 0.999 we do it with this kind of numbers you might just want to put it in a calculator because it's going to be some big numbers not saying that you should use a calculator all the time and so the closer Q is to P, the closer X is to 1. And it appears from the tables, the closer MPQ is to 2. So in other words, the closer... I'm going to show our sort of graph again. So we have these two points called Q and P. Oh, my bad. It's the other way around. PQ and it's saying when this point's getting closer and closer to P so let's say uh, it's getting closer it's getting closer it's getting closer to 2 the number 2 so what does MPQ stand for? MPQ stands for the slope of the secant line so slope of secant line. And I want you to, to understand that this is MPQ is the slope of the secant line. We say the slope of the tangent line is the limit of the slopes of the secant lines. And we express that symbolically by writing limit QP the slope of m p q equals m and this is just the general form and here's our example limit x to 1 x squared minus 1 divided by x minus 1 and it converges at the number 2 so that's our example and like earlier I will show you one more time we have this line we have a parabola and we got these two points, Q and P, P and Q, my bad. And they're going to get closer and closer to P. And why is that? Because we're trying to find the tangent line for this given point. And if we were trying to find the tangent line for this point, which this is an arbitrary point, we can't find it anyways. Or we, we can, we'll just be point tangent lines everywhere. But we're trying to find the tangent line of P. So it's getting closer. Uh, let me use a different color. Closer. Closer. And I didn't say this earlier, but the tangent line could come from the left or the right. Like how we had the the diagrams with the with the different numbers of point nine and and one point one and whatever. So it could go from the left and right. So it all comes and converges at the point of interest, which is P. Use the point slope form of the equation of a line y minus y w of the indices 1 equals m x minus x of the indices 1 to write the equation of the tangent line through 1, comma 1 as. So here's our answer. So we know our slope, which is MPQ, or this is being secant, so we need to have the limit of this, which would be Q and P, my bad. Q and P. So I'm just going to put the general form. So we, we know our, our tangent slope. And which is 2. So now we just need to put it in here and we know we know this so we take an algebra you know what to do and 
we had our point, which is point P11. We just put it in, plug everything in. So let's see. The minus 1. And when I was saying indices, there are the little numbers right here. These are our, our indices. Indexes. Indices means multiple. Index means one. So we got that. Oops. I was talking and not thinking. So that'd be two. X minus one. And so let's simplify that. That's y equals let's see two x minus two. I forgot to distribute. Skip the step. That's why I tell you never skip the step. So two x minus one because we have to add these. So you guys could probably solve this by yourself, anyways. If everything was already given. So that's our answer. And so thus we found the equation of the tangent line. So this is our equation of the tangent line.